Welcome to Ryback TV. I am the big guy Ryback. I am here with the one and only Johnny Scoville, Johnny Jr. And we are going to chase the heat. Yeah, we are. Feed me more. <laughs> all right. So, look, here's what we got. All right. And I got a friend who grows some really hot peppers down in Florida. His name is uh, Tom Broom. He owns a company called Seriously Hot Peppers. I don't like him. Right? <laughs> um, he's a wrestling fan. He's really excited about this. But like here, he, like here's him. what we got. We've got some peppers ranging from very mild, for instance, this is a daddle pepper. It's oh, a, a very common, popular pepper in Florida. Daddle pepper. Daddle, yeah. Really nice tasting, not very hot. This is only about 80,000 Scoville heat units. Here's what I was thinking. Just a proposal I was going to toss out there. We could eat maybe three pods. We'll go with a low heat one, a medium heat one, and we'll go with a, a screamer. What's uh so the the the, the bubblegum one that we had during the podcast too? That was a little hotter than this one. The one you okay. had during that was 120,000. Oh, bad. Okay. This is only 80, so it's about 40,000 lower. Okay. So significantly lower. Now, this I know you've eaten a Cal. Uh, this is a, a fresh Carolina Reaper. This is a California Reaper, which is a cross between this pepper and a Jay's Peach Go Scorpion. Yeah. That's it. It tastes very, very much like a Jay's Peach Go Scorpion, but has about 400,000 more Scoville heat units than the normal Jay's. Not quite as hot as a, as a Reaper. Then we've got these. Now these right here so are... Those look like MRIs. First scotch one. I don't even know which ones these are. Is it? Uh, these right here are Dragon's Breath, which are coming in right now at about 1.8 million. Are those Scoville. the hottest peppers we have here, John? No, I think... I, if we're, yeah, here's the truth of it. The, it's going to be a toss-up. Any, any of these three can okay. really be the hottest. I find uh, chocolate pods, for some reason, have a very evil, sinister burn. And you can get a chocolate pod that's only at 700,000 Scoville heat units, and it might burn you more than a Carolina Reaper at 2 million. All right. Different oils and different things. So are we cool with starting with a daddle? Daddle me up. See, that's why I like it. <laughs> Feed me more. Daddle Here, you know what? Up. Cut your pepper. Here, I'll cut yeah. one for my son. There you go, Junior. Want you cut one up there? Thank you. What you just the very end right there? Yeah. Now usually I cut them open lengthwise. These are so small you don't need to worry about it. I always have gotten in the habit. I was doing a video one day and I had, ate a bunch of peppers and I ate, put one in my mouth and it had a funky little spot on it. I put it in my mouth and something exploded in my mouth, like burst, like it was a caterpillar or something. There was something living inside that pepper and I was doing it live and I had to tough it out. It was it's bitter and gross. Terrifying, Johnny. Right? So now I open them all up. All right, guys. So I'm with big guy right back here and Johnny Jr. We're going to eat a daddle pepper sent to us by Steve, uh, by Tommy Broom from Seriously Hot Peppers. Here we go, guys. Fruity taste, mm. mild heat. Kind of floral. It kind of has a similar flavor to the bubblegum, I find. Similar I like this one better. Much less heat. Around 80. So, um, still way, way hotter. I mean, a, a jalapeno, to put in perspective. A jalapeno is only about 6,000 Scoville. Yeah. So this is about 10 times hotter than a, than a jalapeno. I, not bad. It has like this stuff has some decent taste to it compared to some of the hot challenges. I yeah. Know. Oh, this is a really funny thing I want to bring up. Have, you will have people say to you, "You're frying your taste buds." You may have already gotten that comment. That and ulcers are the two right. things. Right. They're both nonsense. Hogwash. They're both nonsense. Yeah. Especially. Let me tell you something funny. My tolerance is very high. When we eat these pepper, this pepper here, I'm going to taste things and subtleties and things in this pepper that you guys aren't. I don't know if I can eat that. Man. Here's why. When the higher your tolerance, the, the, the lower your tolerance is, the shorter your window you have to, ta to describe that pepper because within two seconds it's so hot, all you guys pain and you can't taste anything. Yeah, what's going to happen to us here? This is, I mean, you do, you, you do this so. I, I, would, I will tell you this though, my tolerance is down. I haven't eaten a fresh pod in, since the live stream a week ago. Yeah. So I haven't eaten a fresh pod in a week. My tolerance is I typically give myself a week between the challenges at least, sometimes 10 I, days. I like right? doing that sometimes just because I really like the burn. If it doesn't yeah. burn so much, eh, that was sure. enjoyable. Yeah. Yes. Very that flavorful. Was, That's a good pot. Just to cut up and put in salads, it's a beautiful. See, flavor. I feel I get more of that. I definitely get, um, I got a euphoric feeling with that one a little beautiful. bit. Beautiful. Well, just wait. All right, so let's go next with. Um, let's go with a medium one. What is medium? Am I in a chili head of ones right there? We'll go right here. We'll these. Talk to you in a minute. These are boot orange <laughs> Copenhagen. All right, this. Uh, Copenhagen. Yep, boot orange Copenhagen. I'm gonna cut mine half lengthway too, orange. just to make sure that there's nothing wonky in there. Here, is there a cross? Um. 
Yeah. Yeah, what does this look like? This is a cross today, uh, a boot, uh, a, a ghost pepper, and I'm not sure what the orange pod they crossed it with. There you go. Now, so we this, got this, and then we got one more. This yep. Smell, this one smells way different now. Now, this is going to be about a half a million. Oh, really? Let's go with you. Oh, wait. That just came off. You're good. I'm is that, is that okay to eat? Oh, yeah. Good? Sure, sure. All right, guys. So this one's going to be significantly hotter. Significantly hotter? It has a, you know what's really strange? Though? Maybe not. This doesn't smell as hot as I would normally I, expect. I feel it. like you're tricking us. All right, here we go, guys. <laughs> That's not as hot as I was expecting. Oh, fruity. This doesn't taste like 500,000 to me at all. This tastes less hot than the data we just ate. So far, yeah. And it's not going to climb any hotter. And that's what I was waiting for. That's weird. That threw me off because I was, it's 500,000 Scoble. I was absolutely expecting. I feel like this is all part of your game plan. Now because it's, it's. Oh, this one's not that bad either. You and now I'm going to. Yeah. And but, then it gets to the. Oh, we have this gentle one here for you. Wait, now. we've done, we're seven in. <laughs> Here's where we go. I got. I'll give that you guys. That was actually that tasted good. Yeah, it had a good flavor to it. Here are the choices. We can do uh, oh. one of three. We can either we've done a, a medium heat pod, we've done a mild pod, and now we've got some super hot. So, so what we can do is either eat a seven pot chocolate dougla. They call mm -hmm. it a seven pot because, as legend has it, one of these peppers can eat seven pots I'm of not chili. Doing that. You're not. Okay, so we already got it. Chocolate pods are so full. Okay, we don't need any chocolate. The other one, the other so choice floral. is. Do you a, know what floral means? No. So sometimes when peppers have a little floral taste, <laughs> it's like, it's it's almost perfumey. Like, yeah, really? it's soapy it's or perfumey. Soapy and, yeah. The water made that one a little worse, though. I will say that. Spreads that it around. One, yeah. Spreads it around. All right, so we could do, we could do this, the Dougla, which is a bigger pod. It's going to be at 1.8 million. The Reaper's going to be less hot, but it's a lot smaller. Is, I don't know or do we could do, you don't have to do the other one. No one's going to give you a hard time. Much, or we can so eat. Or that we, one hits you a little, that orange one hit me a little later. On yeah, that. Right here. Or we can hit, we, we can eat a dragon's breath. I've never, so what is it, have I had anything in the challenges that had that in it? No. Uh, to my knowledge, this has not been used in any mainstream products yet. Um, now, what we could do, you know what we could do that would be good apples and oranges? <laughs> you just ate a dried Carolina Reaper. How about you just eat a fresh one, compare the different heats? That would, that would be, I'm cool Where is your heat level on scale from 1 to 10? Because I don't want to hurt you. No, no, I'm, uh, I'm good. The orange, the one, what was the name of that? Uh, orange chocolate, oh, excuse me, orange uh, Copenhagen, boot orange Copenhagen. The water made it, like, it was like, just ignited it on me. That one compared, it wasn't. <sighs> All right, so. And it's not too you, bad. Woo! <laughs> Do you feel it though a little bit? Yeah, no, I'm burning up in the stomach a little bit. Okay, this is Not a hot pepper. Stomach. This is gonna be a hot. Is this one. the this is the Reaper? Yeah, you can just smell that. There's some brutal thing. Uh, that smell. There's, Did I cut that deep enough? Oh uh, yeah, you know what you may want to do cut it the other way too, just to make sure the peppers are not uh, worms living in there. Yeah, well, yeah, I've had some. What's well, like black seeds? Yeah, white mold is okay to eat. Black mold, you want to stay away from. These things get molded. Oh yeah. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Now, another thing that's really cool to talk about, a lot of people, open that up for a sec, a lot of people think that all the heat is in the seeds. There's no heat in seeds really? at, all, at all. Here's where the heat lies, in this pulpy part right here. It's called the capsaicin, oh. excuse me, it's called the placenta. Looks the pepper. Yeah, mm -hmm. that spongy part, Yeah. and the, all the, the oils lining the, the wall of the pepper. If you look, it's kind of, kind of hard because it's a small pepper, but if you look at the, the wall line. You should lining, open a uh, sun pot. If you look at the wall line, you see how that wall line is shiny? Okay, yeah. It's all capsaicin oils. Man, this all right, is so intense. There it really is. Show your, um, <coughs> yeah, that's the chemical that, formula that, for capsaicin. Oh, you're deep into this game, Scott. Oh, no, I'm into it bad. Too. I don't have any tattoos. If you look, it kind of spells out Johnny. <laughs> Johnny, bad. This all right, guys, so we're going to munch on this one. This is, um, this is Ryback Carolina. eating his very, very first Carolina fresh Reaper, Reaper fresh one. 2.2 million Scoville heat units. Here we go, guys. Oh. Way hotter. Almost right off the bat. Not for you? You're setting me up. I see what you're doing. <laughs> He's trying to kill you now. No, the, it'll hit me in a second. They take they take it a second. Have me. you ever got the hiccups? <sighs> I get them almost every time. I've seen, you, I've seen a few I times. call them burps. I call them herps. When I, <laughs> I, I, I don't, <laughs> I, don't I, I have never gotten the hiccups. I kind of wish I could, because I, th I think it would add to the, the pocky chip in the tube oh, of yeah. definitely. That pocky chip hits me really hard, 
Did you did you get cramps from the pocky chip? Nope, nothing. I ate twenty of them a year ago, and I was fine with that. Well, the single chip I drove after we got a coffee. Building in your mouth, feel that burn. Now, different peppers burn in different places. The the boot orange Copenhagen will burn mostly on your tongue. Yeah. This reaper is going to start crawling right. to the back of your throat. I feel it in the back. It mm -hmm. go, for some reason, reapers and seven pot primos always go for you. I don't care who you are, what country you're in, it burns yeah. you in the same place. The uh, nothing, the heat in the mouth, and that. How long do these take to subside usually when they hit? Um, it'll take about 10 minutes for it to peak. Also, yeah. the higher tolerance it is, the quicker it'll peak. But as like, long as I said, like that stomach stuff, like, that, makes it that to me made was the, and like, I did the, the dry reapers and got uh, for like 10, 15 minutes and it went away. Completely. Well, Heather Bazenga, she is from Heat 101. I'm she's a crying, she's a friend of mine. Here you go, dude. Okay. She's wonderful. She's she's uh, she and Brandon, her husband, have a show called Heat 101. She's had several children. She has shared with me that cap cramps are more painful than childbirth. So I haven't had anything to drink yet. Now I'm going to splash some water out. And I'm going to see how it's going to get more intense. Because that orange one got way worse when I did the water, actually. What it does is it just spreads the capsaicin oils around. Now, if you just ate one of the Carolina Reaper. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, it's way hotter in your mouth now because even even though we just ate this, which is so low in heat, yeah, it you add you add um, the orange one on top of that and this, it's a it's a pretty stout challenge. This stuff, no, it's definitely intense. Where's your heat level? Let's get one to ten. I don't know. I mean, it's it's hot. Seven or eight. I'd say it could eight. Yeah, it's yeah. not as bad as the tuba terra was. The tuba terra was uh, something else. No, but totally different though than eating dried pods of. I feel it in my eyes actually. Oh yeah, not. your tears. Yeah, Do you I've never felt it in my tears till now. I get what's called hot tears. What happens is when you eat enough peppers, you get so much capsaicin in your nasal passages yeah. that when your eyes water, there's actually capsaicin in your tears. This stuff is making me water more than I think anything that has so far. Yeah, one of the best things you can do if it starts to burn your eyes, don't hold your eyes shut. Yeah, because. That's what your body wants to do. So just blink as much as you can. Yeah, if you ever get hot stuff in your eyes, it's brutal. Oh, I, that happened. Have you ever that. had? This is kind of an interesting topic. Have you ever had um, fire hose? Yeah, you do. Were the one that told me oh, about that's right, it. That's right. Did you, you, go, you got it. it. Yeah. That's, that's right. That's right. You got it. But for two rounds, I couldn't. So on that tube of tear, I couldn't piss for hours. I, my body shut down. I'm telling you. <laughs> and then I drank so much liquids, and my stomach was so full. Then I started pissing like crazy all night. I, my first two pisses so burned. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> and then, uh, and then you go in the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is intense. Yeah, I, I'm even getting a bit of endorphin rush just from those. So this is the first time I can tell you that I've honestly felt burn in my like yeah. But you're the real deal, it's not dude. Not bad though. You're a real deal. Um, it's not too. Uh, I needed this. Is this is definitely. I feel like slow escalation. Well, it's a new, a new experience. It's there's a big. It's a step up to go from two yeah, dry, yeah. two dry pods to three of these. I've never done any of the fresh peppers, so that's what I was like. This is. Well, I'm gonna leave you the rest of these from Tommy. These I are more challenges. With oh yeah, this is. Oh wait, what you could totally do. These are the take death some of those dados, or maybe some of the uh, California reapers. Chop them up, put them on like a sandwich or something, or blend them and put them with a feed me more nutrition, I so hungry protein shake. Exactly. What, do you, you know what? Ever done that? that in the description below. Listen, they're. Uh, they make spicy coffee, coffee with seven pot primo peppers yeah. in the coffee. Mm -hmm. They make ice cream that's heated. They make, uh, you know, we're in such a beautiful time for chili heads because I'm telling you, 10 years ago, if you and I walked through a grocery store in the chip section or the snack section, you might see jalapeno. Yeah. Today, you see jalapeno, ghost pepper, reaper. You see, oh, it's yeah. everywhere. It's oh, everywhere. Yeah. And that's so exciting. I wonder with marijuana now being in like Vegas and Nevada, um, if they're going to like do CBD stuff with this stuff. Uh, um, I don't think it's. I know for a fact there's a couple companies already that have a hot sauce uh, with CBD in it. Really? Yep. I've not reviewed it though, but we're having a we start a hot sauce company in a couple weeks. Do you really? Yeah. Congratulations. Thank What's you. What's it called? Uh, Chase the Heat Hot Sauce. All right. We have two different sauces we're coming out with. We kind of have the name selected, but haven't finalized it yet. But we'll ha it'll be probably good to go in th two three weeks. Congratulations. Yeah, we're super excited about the whole thing. Is that going to be uh, on the level of hot scale? Um, you know what? It's really kind of funny. I, I, Oh, yeah. I, I, it's, it's they're very mainstream. Mm -hmm. I want to I want to uh, appeal it's to the far. masses. Yeah, I don't want to burn anybody's face off. No, there's a hotter stuff for that if they want yep. to do that. Um, the first two we have two sauces right now. They're both medium at best. And I will come out with a super hot one later on. The he came up with the idea. Doing, I, we came. I came up with a super cool idea, and it's 
Uh, I'm, I'm, we'll tell him after. Goal, my goal is to make the world's hottest natural sauce. Really? And I think I know how to But here's the thing, though. You talked about earlier. Flavor is so much more important than yeah, Flavor's got to be flavor. there. But watch this. Like, the peppers you just say now, a year from now, eat those peppers again, you'll taste them so differently. Really? You'll taste different. Yeah, yeah you bet. Maybe, maybe like. Months. The rate I'm going. Yeah, you really are. You know what? You don't. You have one speed. I, I know. I can no. just tell. No. Yeah, you do. There's he no used way more than one. It was only. No, but he just he came out of the gates. Yeah. Now he's almost at one fifty. You'll be at a million in a year. Soon. You oh, watch. Easy. We'll see what happens. Everyone, it's been great with Ryback TV and all this. You guys, listen. I know you guys are watching this at home, but Chase the Heat, do me a solid. If you guys love, uh, I don't ask you guys for much ever. You're gonna see a link in the description box at the end for uh, hey, Ryback TV and the top. Please do me a favor, show him some love, check him out because he's got great videos about spice, about positive living, about workouts, about health, Doing everything. Um, everything. And so, plus he's entertaining as can be to watch. So <laughs> show, show him some love and go over to Ryback TV and subscribe and tell him Johnny sent you. Thank you, and then for my followers, chase the heat on YouTube or I'm gonna kick your ass. That's, that's <laughs> See, it. you can get away with that, I can't. <laughs> they look at me I'm as- I'm kidding, I was, I, I was kidding. <laughs> Anyway, this has been great. It's uh, been so much fun. No, thank you for um, coming down, making the trip. You guys drove seven hours, seven Yep. Hours? Yeah. I'm in, oh, man, you guys going back tonight? Yeah. I'm really looking forward You're, to it, though, because there's no light pollution, so the stars are... You know, my sister lives in Reno. Really? Yeah, oh, that's right. You told me. My sister's been there for quite a while. and uh, I actually and, love Reno. It's a nice I town. liked it when I was there. I was there. I've wrestled there before, WWE. How long have you been here? You've been here. You've been about your whole life. Vegas, yeah. yeah. I was gone for seven years wrestling, and I'm back. I moved back right before WWE. What's it like, though? You leaving, you're not famous, you come back, and you're world famous. What's that like? It's just, I, man, so... Because you get recognized everywhere. Yeah, but I don't, so for me, I don't, like, I think if you, people that meet me and you see, like, uh, I'm, I'm the same, and if, if my friends that saw me that I grew up with came and hung out with me, they would say, oh, you're exactly the same as far as... <laughs> how I act towards people and whatnot. And uh, I try to stay true to that. I, I've, I've changed, obviously, and evolved over the years of my thinking and whatnot. Uh, but how I just kind of, uh, it, it, it's, um, it doesn't give me any satisfaction on that. It's right. not a, it, it, Jim Carrey says it best. He wishes everyone could be famous so that you could realize that that's not the purpose of life and whatnot. Right. So I always, uh, it's great, it's cool. You have a lot of good things you could do with it, all positives, but it doesn't, um, it's not like you're all of a sudden this like magical human being. Oh, it doesn't change. So, you know, another thing I find out is, and he made a good point, because I have fans that, and you know how it is. I mean, you have somebody that kind of gets fanatical over, you know. You and, know, obviously, being Goldberg. I mean, exactly, you know, how, right? <laughs> so he says that people that people will fall in love with the idea of you, the image of you, but they don't really know who you are. And, even and that was one thing I didn't like with wrestling is, and I've met, and I've done Make-A-Wishes and things, and it's all amazing and, and beautiful. It bothered me. They didn't know who I really was. And that was one of the things that why I wanted people to know exactly who I was. And I feel like it will benefit me in wrestling when I do go back, that they actually know who I am. Well, the great thing, you have a legion of pepperheads it's following you this time. Totally in, man. Go to his you. channel, show him some love, you guys. <laughs> No, thank you guys. I found you guys after I started doing the hot stuff. Well, when you, you, you we first shot us out, I almost had a heart attack. A yeah. straight heart attack. Yeah, no, I was like, no, it was someone who, someone on our, one of our videos said, Ryback shouted you out from we're WWE. Like, we're like, like nah. So you went to your video and you said, uh, Johnny Stone does all the hot stuff. We're like, but then I messaged you and you were like, just so cool. And like I said, you, oh, you're, you. you're exactly the dude I was expecting. I try to be as advertised. That thing is... Uh, that's beautiful. That's you know, authenticity. Be. It's all you got at the end of the day. Yeah. No, and, it's... and that's why your channel is working because people can resonate with you. They can relate Thank to you. You're you. very, very relatable. As you are. And it's good to do on the podcast than hearing your, your thoughts on law of attraction, the different things. That's why I think we... You meet people and you just click. That's know, it. So Either do or you don't. Thing. Yeah. And you didn't kill me, so thank you. Nah, we wouldn't want to do it. No, too. I thought you had a whole huge plan to take me out of the game nah. early, Scoville. Nah. Thank That's you, a buddy. delayed reaction. About 20 minutes from now, you're going to double over. Once you guys no, are gone, exactly. like, well, the poison hasn't set in yet. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> guys, thank you very much for watching The Big Guy versus Food. And for Johnny Scoville, Johnny Jr. joining me for another mental challenge, <laughs> not killing me. Well, this has been you're wonderful. Welcome. As always, guys, get hungry, stay hungry. Feed, Feed me, me more! more. Hey guys, it's the big guy Ryback, and I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Go ahead and punch that like, smash that subscribe button, and check out my all-natural su my all-natural supplement line. Supplement, supplement. Stupid. My all-natural supplement line. Feed me more nutrition. Available.
on Amazon and feedmemore.com. And as always, Conversation with the Big Guy Ryback available on all podcast platforms, iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, and wherever podcasts are available. Never forget, feed me more. Thank you for tuning in to this segment of Ryback's Conversation with the Big Guy. Watch full episodes here on YouTube. Subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button if you had a great time watching. And for all supplements, check out feedmemore.com.